section, we'll learn about support and resistance trading channels, which are a really big deal when it comes to better understanding the direction of the market based overall trends. Oftentimes, prices will bounce around in a channel, giving you multiple opportunities to buy wisely and sell profitably. There are many different types of trading channels you can learn to use, and each brings unique perspectives with it. But you certainly don't need to learn all of them, not even all the big ones. The Monk Support and Resistance Trading Channel section will offer you an introduction to drawing and trading with channels. A beginning trader should focus on simple support and resistance trading channels until they get comfortable and then maybe learn to use one of a variety of envelope channels that we'll mention as well. In any case, if you want to make gains, then you'll want to hodl a crypto monk so you can watch on. The fact is that respected trend lines like support and resistance levels and moving averages require multiple tests to break. This allows us to draw another type of structure on the charts called a trading channel. If you can draw both support and resistance lines on the same chart, you'll find the market price often bounces back and forth off the floor and the ceiling several times, forming a trading channel defined by the overhead resistance and below foot support. The overall market direction will determine the slope of the channel and tell us whether it's an ascending channel, a flat channel, or a descending channel. When a test of channel resistance fails to break the ceiling, then the price is sent back down into the channel. And if a test of channel support fails to break the floor, then the price is sent back up into the channel. Validated trading channels with multiple tests of support and resistance are used to guide trader behavior towards buying at the bottom of the channel and selling at the top of the channel. Hey monks, taco.eth here. Now this is one of my favorite indicators I use to quickly scalp within the day. By trading within certain channels and combining our knowledge with support and resistance, we can quickly scalp and make trades at the ceiling and floor of these channels. Of course, combined with our favorite other indicators, but these are great to trade with until proven otherwise. On higher time frames where we have seen an area of interest where buyers step in, as well as on the flip side, an area of resistance where sellers have stepped in can provide a great scalping environment for more advanced traders. These trading channels can be drawn either horizontally or on a trend. So just at quick glance here, these would be nice little trading channels, right? Okay. And even right here, we broke out of this channel tried to get up but right now we're back in this range so if we quickly got up to here you could quickly start a short and your next area of interest would be around the 19k mark okay uh let's just zoom in real quick uh and find a trending channel okay so back on the hourly time frames Okay, so let's draw a trend line from here as well as a trend line from here to here. Okay, so once you get more advanced and you find that this is a trading pattern, this is a rising wedge, okay? And then it's consolidating until broken and it breaks out and have a quick little trade that could have got you about almost 8% gains, okay? <clears throat> so for these, I like to draw these horizontal lines with big areas of support and resistance based off of a higher time frame. On lower time frames, now we can get into these rising wedges, these certain patterns, these triangles, whatever you want to call it, uh, price action in terms of candlestick patterns, uh, and then take trades with all the confluences and several other indicators that you have found that work for you okay so that combined with everything that we've learned 
you can have a higher hit rate and become overall a more profitable trader. There are a couple of helpful trading channels called envelope channels that can be drawn from moving averages. Envelope channels are not bound by straight support and resistance lines. Instead, the bounds flow up and down dynamically with a moving average trend line to form a curved and often bumpy channel. They aren't as helpful as support and resistance channels if you're trying to draw an extension of a channel to predict the future price levels. Instead, their role is to provide a channel that tells you when an asset is overbought or oversold based on how close the price is to the top of the channel, the overbought area, and the bottom of the channel, the oversold area. Envelope channels are also different because the height of the channel tells us about volatility. Less volatile price actions cause the bounds to move closer together, whereas greater market volatility has the opposite effect, creating a widening channel. Two commonly used envelope channels you may wish to use as a trader are Bollinger Bands and Donchian channels. Trading channels help you improve your odds of making winning trades by providing an expected range that the price will bounce around in. Properly identifying a respected channel may allow you to maximize your profits by hinting at the best levels to repeatedly buy and sell an asset as that price bounces around. As you can see, that could be a very useful tool. CryptoMonk's content is not financial, tax, or other advice. Never transact based on it. Do your own research and consult certified advisors. Investing is risky and you could lose everything.